heavy compositions, running triple DPS at times with Shadowburn, Unfixed, and Anak, which is... I, teams have generally been trending more towards two, three, four tanks over the course of the Overwatch World Cup so far. Yeah. But they've been very confident in their DPS players to get in there and simply just outskill the opponents, get the picks they need, and then charge forward from there. We've always had the question of, is Russia going to play around Shadowburn? And I think we saw you say that they're, they're going to. They're not necessarily going to depend. They're going to deny it. Yeah, they're really going to deny, anymore, deny it when you ask them. But as we saw, yeah. they, they really did. And they didn't even necessarily need to because, you, like you said, they could run triple DPS and still be successful. Right, and they're going to be matched up against Chile. Chile was a team that we didn't get to see too much of. They went up against USA yesterday in some pretty quick matches. Yeah, it didn't take too long for uh, the U.S. to take down Chile. And, uh, I mean, what can you really say? These guys are going to need to uh, bring a whole different game if they want to have a chance against Russia. Well, I think our understanding of Chile is this is, I think, five of six of them, their first time on a plane, their right. first time on a stage like yeah. this. This is really a getting their feet wet opportunity, and they're excited for it. They're definitely approaching it that way. They are so optimistic about just trying things. And I know, I know people make light of having a good time, but these guys are having a blast here at the experience. Yeah, I could, I could definitely see that. I mean, they're happy to be here, happy to experience all the other teams. And I got a chance to actually talk to them really quickly before this match. And they said they actually felt the pressure yesterday, which is a little bit unfortunate for them because they want to go into this one as a learning experience. Uh, and they said they didn't really have the opportunity to execute the strategies that they wanted to because they just kept, get, or kept getting outfragged. So on a basic, like, aiming ver versus aiming level, they just really couldn't compete with the U.S. So do we have any indication of, uh, like, the strategies they were looking to do based on their games yesterday? Hmm. I think there uh, were. I think it wasn't necessarily like <laughs> about a certain strategy. I think it was more about like find a strategy that worked for them against the U.S. And they tried a couple different things, but even then, they just couldn't find like the magic moment to have it happen. I well, hopefully for them here against Russia, they'll be able to experience that a little bit more. I, I think they really struggled to adapt. Uh, I, yeah, the U.S. Agreed. team was running some like Mercy Bastion compositions, and they that's something that they should be able to shut down and, and didn't really actually execute on. So. I think they need to rethink how they approach strategically some of the oddballs that opponents might throw at them. Yeah, and I mean, uh, it's it's kind of like we've been saying. It's just kind of a matter of uh, getting those headshots working. I mean, it's those mechanics that the Chilean players are seeming to uh, kind of struggle with. So we'll look for a little bit more of that today, too. That's right. Let's head right into the game and see if Chile can finally get those strategies together. ZP, Mr. X, take it away. Thanks, Rachel. I'm looking to see if Chile can stop Shadowburn. You know, they had <laughs> such a, a hard time shutting down Seagull yesterday on his Genji. I want to see if Chile, you know, they've kind of gone back, looked at some of the film, and see if they can adapt a little bit more. It's going to be difficult. Really, there's a very short list of people in the game that can deal with Shadowburn's Genji. I don't know if Chile is going to have the tools. I'd say for them, you want to go for more matchup-related things. Run a Winston, run Zarya, run things that at least can sort of put a Genji on the back foot, even well, if you can't outduel him. And look. In the position that they're in, they should just try about anything, yeah. right? I mean, w what do they have to lose? I mean, you come out, something doesn't work, just switch to something that might be unorthodox that can really you know, throw a throw a wrench at Russia and what they're trying to do. The first map in this best of three will be Hanamura. The second map will be Route 66. Going into this one, ZP as well, I mean, you know, talking a little bit about Russia, I mean, we, we saw them you know, make quick work of Germany yesterday. We just saw Germany fall to USA. I think, uh, I, I don't know how much we can put the stock in Russia, you know, after that Germany game, because it seems like Germany probably not as good as we originally anticipated. So you, you don't really know Russia, what, what they really are right now. You don't know if they're that superpower that we saw yesterday against Germany. Maybe they come in. Yeah. I don't know if Chile gives them like a big run for their money, but maybe they make it kind of interesting. I think Chile right now, they're trying to catch them a little bit off guard with this early bashing, which has happened before. It's not usually teams can work around it, but Maybe I'll catch Rush off guard because remember, when you attack this first point here on Hanamura, all you need to do is get one to two early pickoffs while still maintaining your full strength. And you can usually just overwhelm with respawns. But no matter what, I think this is going to be rough for Chile. But I do like what we're seeing here where they are opening with a Winston. And that's good to help deal with Genji or the Shadowbird's Genji. Well, you would think potentially, right? You need that Winston to get that engage over that mobility. If the other team was running a May, but on the defensive end, you will not see a May from Russia. It'll be on Fix on McCree, Shadowburn on Genji, and Anak will be running Reaper. So they're going to be going with that three DPS again, just trying to overwhelm this Chilean team. Absolutely. And one thing not to be underestimated is that Unfixed, or Unfixed is a multi-talented player. We've seen him do well on Flex. We've seen him do well on Tank. And going McCree here, 
for Russia. He's been doing pretty well also. So multiple threats here on this Russian team. Again, it looks like Russia's just going to give Chile a lot of space here at the door to operate. Not going to be too aggressive, but it's going to be Anak picking up that first kill for Russia. And you see Shadowburn just getting out of the way. Has some teammate support there. And we saw just how good Seagull was. On Genji, you could make an argument Shadowburn is probably, you know, if not the best Genji in the world. He's at 80% ult charge after one fight, and he wasn't even the one doing most of the damage in that fight. I mean, right now, we very well could be going into anything you can do, I can do better between Genji, or between Shadowburn and Seagull here on Genji. So this, I don't know, it's going to be ugly because Shadowburn, he's going to have a Dragon Blade here for his next fight, and Chile will not have a good response to this. And what makes Shadowburn such a strong Genji player? What makes him such a strong Genji player is that he's not reliant on Dragon Blade. He does really well with it, but he can get three and four kills without it. Here he goes. He's going right in. Dragon Blade unsheep. Doesn't get what he's looking for immediately. Will take out the Ana. Dives into the back line. Has done enough damage for the rest of his team now to just swarm all around them. And I think just him with that Dragon Blade coming from above, it just you know strikes fear into the Chilean side, and they have to look up. The rest of his teammates are attacking from the front, and it's an easy hold there for Russia. Now, Russia does have some ultimates to work with in this next fight. You'll have Reds with that Earth Shatter. Anak will have that Death Blossom. Unfix will have the Dead Eye. And you look on the side of Chile, they really have nothing to work with ZP. And that's the problem for Chile is that the wipes that they've had here, where they have gone in and died, they haven't gotten much ult charge out of it. Meanwhile, Russia, they are banking ult after ult. And here we go again. Sound Bear comes in from Chile. They get nothing from it. Counter, Nano Boost is out. And here comes the Death Blossom. Hook okay, can stop Anak, but not before most of the Chilean team is dead. Yeah, right now they can just not pick up any kills, Chile. They're trying everything they can. They use the sound barrier to get in, get a little bit more sustainability. They do not last long in the fight. Right now, it has been all Russia. Shadowburn 9-0, Godspeed 9-0 as well. The McCree 7-0, it's going to be unfixed for the side of Russia. So three players playing very well here early. They're playing incredibly well, and Chile has been struggling to get a single kill right now. They will have Dragon Blade in the Primal Rage, but X, I gotta tell you, if it doesn't work out in this next fight, it's gonna be rough. They only have a minute 30 left. That translates to about two good pushes, and here they go. Yeah, and they're gonna dive pretty strong into the back line. It's gonna be Shao pulling out that Dragon Blade. Oh. He does not last long, though. Reds pins him right up against the wall, and you see the kill feed. It is all blue. Chile is trying all they can. It's gonna be a Primal Rage there for Sir Peter now. He is going to fall. It is just going to be Roar Scratch up. He drops as well. Another stronghold there from Russia, and Chile has tried absolutely everything, ZP. In this next fight, they'll probably have a Graviton Surge to work with, and that'll be it. I don't know what they can combo with that. Really nothing right now. I mean, they have no other ultimates. It's a very difficult position to be in. They need War to come in with the Graviton of his life because Russia has way more resources going in. They have the Dragon Blade, Death Blossom, and that goes right in, immediately picks up two. Shadow Burn into the back. Gonna be able to hold this Dragon Blade in Chile, getting flawlessly wiped out once more. That'll be a team kill in favor of Russia. So still, the defense holds strong for this oh, Russian man. team. They were so good yesterday against Germany. So strong now against Chile. We could go take a look at this from Anex POV. He comes in with a Death Blossom, and he gets the Nano Boost as well. Picks up three, grabs another one as well. Not very strong setup here. You see him just hiding behind that door. As soon as the players from Chile jump in, he is just going to cause a ton of problems. Shadowburn does have the Dragon Blade, and oh, does he, he reflects the Graviton right back at him. Fantastic play there from Shadowburn. Beautiful reflect, and Shadowburn just going in, has a double kill, looking for more, gets in on Winston. And X, this was a flawless victory from Russia. They did not lose a single person the entire time. Their position was so good to not give up early picks. And if you can't get that initial pick, it's very hard to crack open the first point of Hanamura. I, I feel like saying a, that was a strong defensive setup from Russia would not do it justice. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I feel like it was, was dominant. Just, yeah, it was a dominant first half there from Russia. But Chile in a world of trouble here now, going on the defensive side of things, CP. What would you like to see them try? At this point, they gotta just try something, right? Catch Russia off guard? Open things up with a good pickoff. That at least get on the board for that. Try and unsettle Russia, but holding first point on Hanamura is very difficult to begin with. And take a look at the stats here for Shadowburn. That is, it's ridiculous. Fairly good. <laughs> I mean, uh, you do see his eliminations match his best kill streak. You can take those two numbers. You can kind of put together how many deaths he has out of that. And uh, no, Shadowburn, just such an issue for opposing teams to deal with on Genji. Now, we'll see what Russia goes with here. It looks like Unfix will be on Hanzo. So trying to get an early first pick here. Once they get that, you'll be able to see Shadowburn just dive in to the opponent's side of the map and then really cause a lot of problems. 
I gotta say, X, by the way, I feel bad for all these arcade machines. Someone out there is restocking them, putting them back in, and teams just keep coming in and destroying all of them. It's, it's unfortunate. Well, I mean, this has to be... I, I don't know, but I mean, I do not see many arcades around my area. I feel like this has to be one of the last <laughs> arcades left. I don't know what this thing is. So I see this every time I play and come out of the spawn. I, I don't really understand. Is that painting something? It's painting. It's constructing something. Ah, uh, here we go. Uh oh. He's back. This is your favorite hero. No. No, it is not. Uh, I, I did have a, a, a spree of a few games where I love to play some Torbjorn. I know Chris Puckett out there loves a good game of Torb. See if it works out for Charlotte in Chile, though. They'll use that turret to probably watch that top area as uh, Shadowburn comes over the top, but I feel like Russia will be able to make quick work of that turret. It'll be offense for Russia. All they have to do is capture the point, and they will win this first map. We'll see on Fix on Reaper, Shadowburn on Genji, and we'll see how they deal with that Torb turret once they make around this corner. The one nice thing about Torb is that Torb can apply a bit of pressure to your flanking characters. It gives them less mobility, less freedom because they have to worry about it. But Russia right now, not to be deterred, they just roll right in, muscling through. They pick up the first kill, take down the turret, and X. This is going from bad to worse right now for Chile. Yeah, and it looked like they were trying to play around that turret. And as soon as Russia saw it around the corner, Reg just pushed right up to it with his Reinhardt shield. And they were able to take it out with ease. It's going to be Russia on the point. They get an early clean wipe. And this should be a victory for Russia. They're able to take point A. A dominant performance from Russia in game.